Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I hope everybody had an amazing um, Labor Day. If you're anything like me, coming back after a long weekend, you're like going, why do we do these? But we had a wonderful, wonderful, restful weekend. Um, so today is Maker Monday, but it's on Tuesday. And I have something really exciting to show you. We have eight brand new colors of chalk art. That is introduced today. We have additional colors coming. And, hey Renee, and tomorrow at one o'clock, I'm gonna be introducing our new fall kits that we are introducing. We're only gonna do a few at a time because we, one, we don't wanna overwhelm you, but two, we wanna really educate you in the process as far as learning new techniques. So, hey Lori, hey Renee, hey Terry, oh my gosh. Hey, Cheryl. Um, hey, Lori. All right, guys, so here's the deal. Today, what I want you to do, this is something that we're going to be starting with doing our Facebook Lives, is we want you to share, tag three friends with this Facebook Live. And when you tag those three friends, guess what? Your name's going to go into a drawing for a giveaway for a bundle that are six of the new chalk art colors. It's as easy as that. So you want to tag three friends and then they're going to know about it. They're going to be able to see it. And if you're a maker, share your links. You know, we have, um, we have a sweet, we call it our tribe of makers that love crafting. They love teaching. They love making things. They love making gifts. And I think more than ever, we are at a point that we want to be able to just kind of press pause on life a little bit, enjoy family and friends. And for me, I love making things with my hands. And so I love coming in here and turning on music. I, I personally, everybody has their own preferences, um, but I, I just love to listen to music that calms me and I just kind of turn the world out and create. So I'm gonna turn this down for just a second. So if you're popping on, be sure and say hey, but you wanna tag three friends. Tag three friends because um, that's gonna allow you for your name to go in the drawing for six free chalk arts. We're Thursday afternoon, we're gonna announce the winner and then we're gonna get those six of these chalk, art, chalk arts out to you, it's in a bundle. Um, hmm. Delia, thank you for asking about my dad. Isn't that weird? Um, thank you. Just pray. He's, um, I have been so, so incredibly blessed to have my dad for so, so long. But um, now, you know, every time that I am with him, I just put my hands on either side of his face and I just get in his face and tell him how much I adore him and how much I love him. So, um, you know, I will just share this with you. Um, if you're not part of our Proverbs 31 group, join it. It doesn't cost anything. There's no membership. There's no nothing. It was just a part of my heart that wanted to mentor other women um, and walk alongside women to be Proverbs 31 women and what that looks like. And so we're gonna to meet tonight, tonight's on finances and how we, um, how we need to be accountable with our finances, what that looks like. And it, um, thank you for sharing that, Marty. There you can join that group there. It's just, it's just a closed Facebook group where we um, encourage one another and uh, just do, we do life together. That's all it is. So I'd love to invite you to the Proverbs 31 group, but hey, hey, everybody. Hey, Cece. Hey, Misty. Hey, everybody. Hey, Christine. Um, so I'm going to turn this down. I want to show you. Be sure as you're popping on, tag three people with this Facebook Live, and then that way your name is going to go in for a drawing. So let me turn this down for just a second, and let me show you the colors. And so it's important when I was developing these new colors is I wanted you to be able to be doing more ombre effects. And so I love peaches and corals. I love how they can be incorporated, um, of course, definitely with 
any color in our home because I use a lot of taupes and grays and things in my home. So these are three colors that are, one, this is pretty as a peach. All y'all, yes ma'am. This is curbside chopper, which I'm sorry, the names we're having, I have way too much fun with this. And then here are, look at this. Guys, we have needed, you know what? I'm so sorry, let me turn these around. This is Shindig. It's a beautiful dark navy. We have needed a dark navy chalk art for so long. But then here is a gorgeous, this is um, Land of Goshen. If you're not from the South, sorry, we say things like this. Land of Goshen. Um, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue, royal blue. Beautiful, beautiful. Be, be great this fall. This is um, Pea Pick and Heart. So this is actually the lightest color because eggplant lavenders are so, so big and so much on trend right now. Um, we actually have more of a darker royal one that will be create a beautiful ombre already in the line. This one is called Fancy Pants. Um, just, <laughs> I have to raise this up. Just tell me, did any of y'all, when you were growing up, did you, any of y'all's moms go, um, okay, Miss Fancy Pants? My mother used to say that. And so when I come up with these names, people will go, Amy, where in the world do you come up with this stuff? And it's like, um, some of it is just my childhood. <laughs> and, um, but she would, um, and, and my middle name. Y'all, can y'all attest to the fact that your middle name, if you were in trouble, no longer was I Amy. I was um, Amy D, because my middle name is D. So it's Amy D. When, you, when, I knew, when I heard that, I knew that I was in a lot of trouble. So um, anyway, but I love, just fancy pants, love that. Okay, I'm gonna turn this around one more time. Be sure, if you're, if you're popping on, tag three friends and your name is gonna go into a drawing that we are gonna send you six of these chalk arts for absolutely nothing and we're gonna pay for shipping so they'll be free because we've just put the bundle, there's a special bundle that is all of these colors and the two over here these two. This, these six are a special price bundle. So I want to show you, let me make sure this is the only bad thing about this type stuff. I want to make sure that you can see what I am working on. All right. So this is one of the stencils that I'm working with. Now, of course, if you're not used to our stencils, they're adhesive, they're a mesh material. And this one is, um, it's just called simple. Can you see the name on the back? It's just called Simple. So it's Simple um, AMS 154 is the number. So I have actually cut this up because I don't worry about it. I use these for a ton of different projects. I may make some tags with it. Um, I could actually use this with the inks. That's another great thing about these mesh stencils is because you can use them with the ink sometimes, you can use them with the chalk. Um, you just wash them, then you can use them with the ceramic paints. But I love this stencil because it has these just yummy, hand-drawn, illustrated daisies and vines on it that can be so cute. You could totally get some little girl blue jeans from Target and do the ink and have these running down the leg of her jeans. So, so cute. Would be just so, so cute. All right, so I've cut it down because I have a blackboard here. These are actually going to be available on a Maker Studio really, really soon. But I've cut this down because I wanted it to fit in here. Because a lot of you may be thinking, um, the chalk art is, how's that different from ink? It's very, very different. Because the chalk art is, re one, it's where you can wash it off and change it up. And if you, but let's say you just absolutely love it and you don't wanna wash it off, you can seal it. And I'm gonna show you what you can seal that with in just a minute. So I'm just positioning my stencil on here. Can you, can you see me? All right, guys, if you're popping on, please, please, please tag three people and your name is gonna go into a drawing and I'm gonna ship you six free chalk arts, this brand new bundle that we've put together. So now I'm gonna be working I just wanna press this in here. I wanna make sure that this adhesive stencil is all the way down in here, nice and secure. All right, so now the three colors that I'm gonna be working with are these three. So this one is Yes Ma'am, this is my darkest one. Can you see that? 
This is Yes Ma'am. This one is All Y'all. And this one is Pretty as a Picture. Now, normally when I'm doing ombre, I like to have my lighter color at the top and then I'll have it go down darker. That way, just from a visual standpoint, um, it anchors it. So when you're doing ombre art, I can't stand this, that I can't see you. It's like, I wanna see, I wanna see the names of my peeps. Um, hey, Jennifer. Hey, Joan, thanks for sharing. So if you're popping on, share, share, share. Uh, you wanna share with at least three friends and then that way um, you'll be in a drawing for Thursday afternoon that Marty will make and we're gonna ship you six free, the bundle, um, six free chalk cards. All right, so let me turn this back around. I'm gonna be going over creating ombre. Okay, let me see. I wanna make sure that you can see that. All right, so with our spreaders, I like them because they're thin. I cut them up and I make them all kinds of um, sizes to be able to work with. Let me move this down just a little bit more. So I'm gonna start with my darker color. And when you're looking at positioning and percentage, you want your base, um, you can do things in thirds. I, I usually will do either two thirds and a third or you can do a third, a third, a third. There's gonna be some blending in between laying down your colors. So I'm gonna do it to where it'll literally be like this. My darker color is gonna go more at the base. You know what? Yeah, I guess I'm okay with that. I'm gonna do it like that. All right, and then go up to my lightest. All right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take this one. <coughs> something so fun about dipping into a brand new container of chalk art. Look at that. Now, chalk art is intended to be used on chalkboards, on paper. Um, I like, I like doing placemats and all kinds of items that I want to be able to wash it off. Believe it or not. Okay. Hold on just a second. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a tip too on something. Mirrors, glass. Take a, take a scripture verse like this. These are, we have a lot of scripture verses. And, and have it as a game in your house. Do it for yourself. You can use the chalk art on your mirror in your bathroom and put the scripture verse on your bathroom mirror. And then that way you memorize it. You can have it with your children. It's like, or maybe you have a top board in your kitchen and you can put this up and say, um, God is our refuge and strength and very present help in trouble. Psalms 46, one. So you can talk about this all week long. Guess what? You can take the chalk art and you can do this on the inside the window on your car. And that way you can talk about it with your kids. And so it's just about allowing God's word to become become in your life and be something that you use all the time. So thank you for sharing guys. I was just saying if you share if you tag three people this Facebook live so they can watch it with our introduction of, of our um, actually there's eight new colors but we're gonna send out this bundle of six new colors absolutely free. We're gonna have our drawing on Thursday. But chalk art's great because you can you can use it, you can put it on a mirror, you can put it on glass, and then um, when you're ready to do a new scripture verse or whatever, you can wipe it off. But you can also make it permanent. If you wanna make your chalk art signs permanent, you can use a matte sealer, but you just have to make sure you roll it on. Don't brush it on. If you brush it on, it will mess it up. But you can, if you say, when you get finished with this, you absolutely love it, then just take a matte sealer and roll this baby, and then that way you can use it and it's permanent. But the cool thing about it is, after you've used the chalk art, it's not gonna smear. You can rub your hands over it, it won't smear, but you can just take a wet sponge and wipe it off. And then that way, enjoy doing it again and again and again. So I love the whole thought process of chalk art. Here's something else. Let's say you live in an apartment or you live in a home that you can't paint the walls. You can take some of our designs, whichever. I would probably take like the B or different elements or leopard or whatever and you can do ombre effects you could do copper or gold or whatever on the wall 
enjoy it. You can create literally a pattern on your wall. And then when you get ready to move, wipe it off. So um, I've had people use it in so many different ways. It can really be a lot of fun. But the whole point of the chalk art, indifferent from the ceramic paint or the gel paint, is the, the gel ink, is that it's more for paper, chalk art, um, chalkboards, um, glass surfaces that you want to be able to wipe it off and do it again. All right, so we're talking about our new colors today. As you, um, um, thank you, Jimmy. I love being your mother maker. Um, I celebrate a really big birthday this week and I've really been um, praying over what is, what is that supposed to look like? Um, and just handing, handing the next 10 years over to the Lord and saying, what, what is, what is that going to look like for me? And, um, you know, those of you, y'all like, Amy, shut up and talk about, um, shut your mouth. Um, talk about the chalk art. I will, but I just want to say those of you who are cancer survivors, birthdays are really, really big. And it, you realize you've been gifted one more year that probably you weren't supposed to have, but because God has given it to you as a gift. So it's such a gift. So thank you for sharing. Share, tag three friends on this and your name will go into a drawing Thursday afternoon. And, um, and we're gonna send you six free chalk cards. All right, so we're gonna do ombre. And so I've got my stencil laid down here. I am, I'm happy with the way it's positioned. I'm gonna start with my darker color first. And you want to just lay this at a 45 degree angle. Here's the deal. Guys, you can't mess this up. I promise you can't because here's the deal. It's so forgiving. You just wipe it off and start over. Maybe you want to make a mistake because that allows you to be able to start over. So, and do it again and enjoy the process. So I'm just gonna, this is my darkest color. These are our new chalk art colors. Gosh, we've got these gorgeous salmons and navy and um, eggplants and lavender. I just love them. All right, can you hear that scrapey motion? When you're working with chalk art, you wanna make sure that you are really, there's quite a bit of pressure. It's not like the ink, the ceramic paint, you know, how you can use a brush. Got a little bit extra. Let's put this back in here. And I wanna make sure that you don't leave the top off of here too long. I'm just going up that side. I'm gonna position it. You can see how it's already kind of starting to dry. And unfortunately, you don't wanna to take too long to be able to do it. I want you to work fairly fast. That was one of the bad things. Sometimes I would teach workshops and I have people doing it and they're just so into it and enjoying it. And I, and I saw how therapeutic it was, but I was like, okay, you're gonna to have to work faster. All right, so that was our darker color. That's what we did first. So I'm gonna go on and put my lid on it because I'm through working with it. Now I'm gonna go to my medium value color. You see, there's not a whole lot of difference, but believe it or not, it can make a big difference in the end. I'm gonna grab another one of my spreaders. I'm creating an ombre effect with some brand new colors. Be sure if you're popping on, tag three friends and your name is gonna go into a drawing that we're gonna send you the bundle for absolutely free, shipping free of six colors. What a great giveaway. All right, so now I've got, I'm going to come in and I'm going to do this middle section, my second value color. This is a little bit more pink, but it's complementary. You can hear that as I'm pressing against that. I'll come on up in here. I encourage you, as you get ready to have family over for the holidays, Get some projects. If you have grandchildren, I promise they will be some of their best memories. I We have nieces and nephews over, just like we did yesterday. Um, I have to tell you this. Okay, all right, so this is our second color. And now I'm actually going to take this in just a little bit. One thing I forgot to do and I need to do. I'm gonna blend, I'm gonna come in here and blend a, this, a little bit of this base color into that. All right, now I'm gonna put my top on this one. 
I wanna make sure that they, that they don't dry out. And now I'm gonna get my lighter color. Let me take this medium color just a little bit. I'm gonna blend in just a little bit like this. You can kind of keep a wet edge if you want. And now I'm gonna take this lighter color. We're working all monochromatic ombre. And now I'm gonna blend it like this. That way it's a soft transition. I don't know about y'all, but we had nieces and nephews and grandchildren and children over Saturday and swam. We, I think Jean thought I'd lost my mind. I, we rented one of those blow up slides and um, even the dogs got in the pool. We had the best time. And I thought um, how grateful I was, one, to have a home that I could invite them to and a yard and dogs. And we are just so blessed, guys. So, so blessed. All right, so I'm gonna have a little bit. I wanna transition this up in here because I can't spend a whole lot of time. I don't want this to start drying on here. If you're just now popping on, I am introducing all of these yummy new colors that we have created. Our goal in this was to have it where you could do ombre effects because this is very much on trend. Now I'm just gonna take this up. How fun is that? Now, let me turn this around. Sorry, I put my finger right over there. Can y'all see that? Isn't that fun? So that way it's gradated. The colors are soft. It transitions very nicely, but it's very soft. If you wanna come back um, to where you want the darker color to go up just a little bit more, you can. Is this not the cutest? So here's here's what's fun about this. This color palette and what I did will go in almost any interior. I mean, it would go with taupes and, and grays and, um, but we have done it to where you don't have to mix your own colors. I am working on a project this afternoon with these lilacs, but um, which are great. If I can put these together, hold on. I need I need one more hand. Can you see these? We have a darker color eggplant that I'm gonna be doing a project with these and gold will look amazing. Now, what I could do, I can let my sun dry. If I wanna come back in here and add, which I probably will, a few embellishments of copper. We have a copper chalk art that will look amazing with this. Love, 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 love. That will look adorable. Where is that? I have the chalk, I have it. Let me show you. Here's the copper which will look really pretty with this. Um, but the whole idea, the reason I'm doing this Facebook Live today is I want you to tag three friends and I want you to tell them um, where they can hear about that we have all these new fabulous chalk art colors and that the person that you, in tagging that, your name will go into a drawing Thursday afternoon and we're gonna be sending you six free chalk arts, that new bundle that you're gonna see on the banner on our website. So, um, Thank you for just sharing part of your day with me. Thank you for seeing how easy and how fun it can be to share. Um, you can make something beautiful. This is something fun to have in your home. I love the chalk arts because I can wipe it off and I can create another one. I love the power of scripture verses. I love being able to have that up in my kitchen. I will tell you a little secret. We have a kit coming out that is going to include this board, a wreath, a um, scripture stencil and um, some of the mini chalk cards. So it's going to be great. You want to stay tuned. And tomorrow at one o'clock Central Standard Time, I'm going to be with he with you here with Michelle, Michelle Mabel, and I'm going to be introducing our first fall kit. We're doing a extra large cloche. Um, it, that's a fancy word for bell jar, but the the glass is really really thick. It's so beautifully done. It's really, really oversized. And we're gonna show you, that's gonna be our first 
fall um, kit that we're going to be introducing tomorrow. So you don't want to miss it. We'll be here at one o'clock central standard time. And every day we're doing these kits and introducing all of our new products. We're going to be giving away bundles. So as you tag your friends, um, you let them know about it. You have a chance to be able to get it all for free. Have a great day, everybody. Love you.